We've had some changes made to our Chromebooks. We now have apps for our Microsoft products. So I want you to click here in the bottom left to la launch your apps, then click the arrow to expand it. Now you still won't have everything that you see on my screen, and that's because I'm a teacher, but you should see the Play Store here. And if you don't see the Play Store, you need to come down here, sign out, and then sign back in so that your Chromebook can update. When you click on the Play Store, here are the apps. And the one I want you to install first right now is going to be Microsoft OneDrive. You can come back later and install some others, but we're going to select OneDrive. Now, Mine says this because I've already actually have mine loaded, but yours will say install. So you want to install it. And then after it's installed, it'll probably say open and you want to open it. And then it's going to give you the option to sign in and you're going to sign in using your office email with the at stu.k12.wv.us and your password and once you've gotten it all installed and it'll open up and when it opens it will look similar to this i have a lot of files in mine but it, it should look basically like this once you have done that i want you to come down here and sign out and then sign back in and that's going to help actually get your OneDrive fully installed on your device. Once it is fully installed, when you click on your files, now if you don't have your files down here, you can find your files in your app launcher. And so when you open your files, what's going to happen is your OneDrive is going to show up here at the bottom. You're going to see your Google files and here's your Google Drive, but then OneDrive will be here. And this will make it easier for you when you have an assignment, say in Schoology, and you need to get access to a file that's in Word or PowerPoint. In Schoology, when you select a file to attach to an assignment, it's going to bring you to this page. And when you click click on OneDrive. It'll look different than maybe what you're used to. You'll want to come down here to Files and click on that. And now you're going to see, like I said, I have folders, but when you click down here, then you start getting to your documents. So now you know what you need to do. Um, you probably want to go back and install Word and PowerPoint. And I will be making another video to show you a little bit more about how to use your office um, folders and 